Now we're going to talk a little bit about the parts of a spinning wheel. I'm using the Ladybug spinning wheel, but most spinning wheels have very similar parts that all function in a very similar way. These are treadles. When we get spinning, our feet will be treadling, making these go up and down. The treadles are connected to the footman, which is connected to the drive wheel crank. The drive wheel hub holds the crank in place. The drive wheel has a band that goes around it called the drive band. And that band is turning a whirl that is in turn rotating the flyer. The front maiden includes the front maiden bearing. This is the bearing that holds the front of your flyer and orifice in place. Here's your front maiden. This supports the front of your flyer. Adjusting the tension is necessary if you are constantly changing the whirl. When we loosen the front maiden knob, we are able to remove the flyer to change bobbins and whirls, etc. The drive band is used to increase or decrease tension on the drive band. To recap, we have the whirl, the flyer with the flyer hooks, the flyer shaft runs from the front maiden to the rear maiden, and both maidens are held up by the mother of all.